Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Beer is Tasty. My name is Chris. And as usual, I am Brian. It's been a little while, and we thought, let's kick it off. We're doing Beer is Tasty Guinness style. In that we're drinking Guinness. Yeah. So this is a well, very... Well, there's a reason we're drinking Guinness. That's a very good point, Chris. This is the birthday of Hold Guinness. Hold on. What? No, no, we're fine. <laughs> just kidding. All right. <laughs> what up? I was just being a jerk. Oh! <laughs> Son of a, are we actually still? Yeah. This is Guinness. Yeah. So it's the 250th birthday this year of Guinness, as the Jeremy behind the camera has so wonderfully years old. pointed out. Now, a Guinness was formed, according to the can, in 1759. Uh, Interestingly enough, also Jeremy figured this out for us because we do not do research here on Beer Estate, so we have a guy that does it for us. That they got a lease on the building that they're in. In Dublin. In 1759 for 40 pounds. It's 40? 45 pounds a year. British, 45 pounds a year. Yeah. That's like, that's like, that's like, I don't know, what is that, like well, $2 American? I don't know, something no. like that, a year. No, I think it's and about, it's, and it's, a, get it's this. about like 60, maybe. Whatever. But anyway, whatever. It's, the play, point it's, is, it's funny money. 45 all pounds a year is all they pay for their place. But if you think 1759 when they got the place, that was probably Super a ton cheap. of money. Super cheap. Here's the thing 1759, a lot of money, but today. 9,000 year lease. <laughs> it's a 9,000 year lease. 1,000 year lease. According to some individuals, the earth is not even that old. So that's really forward thinking, thinking, hey, 9,000 more years. So, and of course, we got the nitro can. I don't know if you can hear it in the mic. You shake it around a little bit. You hear that little nitro capsule? It's going to blow up on us now. It's really stupid that we just shook the yeah. can, but we're doing it I'm for gonna, you. Let's, let's pour it. Oh, and then, wait, of course, wait. we should mention, like in every episode of Beer is Tasty, you got to pair it with a food. And we like to do <laughs> themes these days. Yes. So we're doing the bachelor breakfast themes for the next few episodes. We are. And we're kicking it off with something neither one of us have tried before. The it's the Eggo. French toast sticks cinnamon flavor. So we, so. Got, we got our toaster right here, and they're toasting up as we do this. And we're going to go ahead and pour ourselves a little beer. Careful, it might explode on you. Tap, tap, yeah. because that'll just make it not explode. Whoa, 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 whoa. And away she goes. Get on it, get on it, get on it. And we're pouring, we're pouring. And we're pouring. There we go. The can sort of kind of erupted in a volcano cataclysm of Guinness. It was beautiful. Okay, okay, here we that go. That is really foaming. Ah. Okay. The outside of the Guinness can tastes delicious. Uh, I just want to say that um, we're going to start reviewing the outside of the cans now. Yeah. A little cardboardy, a little tinny. Uh, so I poured this a little too fast. Now Guinness has always been known for its head. It's got, it's got a nice foamy head. Um, it's got a nice good, you know, gorgeous. chocolatey gorgeous. look and feel. It has that cascady look where it just kind of oh, is, I love it. is settling and separating and it's Thick and dark. I think it's just gorgeous. It is a very pretty beer. If you like the look. You know, it look, looks a lot like coffee with chocolate in it. It really does. It's like a mocha, only more beautiful because it's alcoholic. All right. So, All right. now we don't know how it's going to go with uh, toaster sticks, but. <laughs> I'm going to be figured, honest. This sounds like a horrible beer. Guinness to is me. almost a meal in the glass itself. <laughs> yeah, no, Guinness, Guinness I've always viewed as kind of the beer that you drink by itself. You don't necessarily oh, get a God, Guinness so with like. Onion rings or something. Look at it, just the way it, the bubbles move around. It's like looking at fire. You know how you just get hypnotized yeah, by it. I know. I feel like I feel like it's seducing me right now. Okay. It smells delicious. It now smells. Here's the thing. We've all tried it Guinness. Smells, it smells dark. The odds are, if you're watching this video, you've tried Guinness many times, as we both have. We're going to pretend for a moment yes. that we've never We're had try. Guinness We're before. We're going to try. Um, we ha we haven't had any beers yet today. It's our um, first beer Which of the is day. a weird day. Um, so okay, here we go. My first time trying Guinness. Guinness, whatever it is, I don't know. It's smooth. It's very, very. Um, not. It's not like. It's not like when you're drinking like a Sprite and it's totally uh, fizzy in your mouth. No, this is. <laughs> You've heard it here first. Guinness is not like drinking a Sprite. It's not like drinking a Sprite. So it's very smooth, not very fizzy. So this is the beer for all you out there who don't want to drink Sprite right now. <laughs> you know, it's funny because you look at it. If you looked at a Guinness, mm. you'd think this is going to be... Oh, that's a good flavor. It's almost going to be like I'm pouring peanut butter in my mouth. Yeah, like, okay. It just I looks don't, thick. It just it looks It does look thick. pretty thick. I'm not I mean, going with the peanut dense. butter. dense. I mean, that's kind of... That's some pretty liquidy looking peanut butter then, man. That's all I'm saying is you Dude, my peanut weird... butter is liquidy. My mm. peanut butter is liquidy. What the F kind of peanut butter it's do you buy? It's all natural oily crap. I don't know. What? I, 
It's Skippy or go home. That's all Let's, I'm saying. I agree. I agree. Maybe a little GIF if you're on a bad day. Now, here's some interesting little tidbits about Guinness. All right, just to make sure us? I got this here. Now, I'll Guinness, get our breakfast. So Guinness, drink. of course, is just your traditional Irish stout, right? Everyone just associates stout with Guinness and Guinness with stout. It's become unanimous. Unanimous? Anonymous? I got it's peanut become, butter on it's, the plate. It's, I don't know it's if you can one see particular that. anonymous of what another. Peanut side. butter runs. See, it was like. So I've got a point here. All right. Synonymous. Go ahead. Synonymous. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, however, an interesting tidbit is a lot of stouts have a very high alcoholic content. Oh, uh, I see where you're going. However, Guinness is 4.2% alcohol by volume, which is lower than many American lagers yeah. and pilsners. It's now, actually about on par with a Bud Light. I don't know. Which is kind of strange. I believe I have heard that outside the U.S. there's a different Guinness that's sold and made, but I don't really know anything but There's about multiple it. Guinness. I mean, the Guinness company makes multiple different kinds of beer, uh, you know, harps and, and various other things. I believe they make Smithwicks as well, but... But I'm saying I think they have a different Guinness flavor and formula that they sell outside the U.S. Do they really? That's what I've heard. I've never actually gone to Ireland you know, and had Guinness there. You know, we have there. lots of viewers outside the U.S. for Beers Tasty, so if some of you out there know for sure or not, maybe it's just a, something I've heard. If I'm wrong, if I'm right, let me know. This uh, this little floppy stick in my hand is, cinnamon uh, stick. is a cinnamon stick. Mine's nice and firm. Standing up That's good. weird, because mine's really floppy. No, look at that. Yeah. Nice and firm. Uh, Chris is really firm, and mine's really floppy. Huh, that's cool. Uh, so I'm going to try it <laughs> with, the, um, with the Guinness. Here we go. Huh. I taste some cinnamon. It tastes a lot like uh, the French toast sticks you get at like a Burger King or something. Tastes exactly like like that. fast food French toast. Actually, sticks. not quite. Like those ones are fried, and these ones were toasted. I think those these ones are probably a little healthier for you. I don't dislike it. Makes it okay snack. A good quick breakfast on the. You're going for a bachelor breakfast here. This ain't bad. So, no, I, and you're gonna if you're going for a beer, and you're gonna grab whatever in your freezer. <laughs> now, because I never just leave anything alone. Uh huh. You don't like it? No, go ahead. Say whatever the hell it was no, you were gonna no, say. No, go ahead. No, no I don't want to. I don't want to talk about it just yet. I'm not feeling okay with it. You go ahead and talk. Because I don't like to leave anything alone, I gotta. <laughs> gonna put peanut butter on mine. Uh huh. Put peanut butter on it. Gonna put peanut butter on mine and see how it goes. <sighs> oh yeah, you got your stick, your big. I got my stick, stick all covered my in peanut big, butter there. Big sticks covered You're, in peanut butter. There you go. And right. it's still not flopping over. That's that can hold a lot of weight. That yeah, stick no, of yours. it's it's covered, but it's still standing strong. <laughs> all right, I'm going to I'm going to clear the palate with some beer before I put this down. The yeah, beach. yeah, you're gonna do that. Here we go. Here comes the big okay. test. And it's going to be about a minute and a half before he talks again. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's called forward thinking mm -hmm. in recording a show, ladies mm. and gentlemen. Mm. <clears throat> so let me give you my thoughts on this. Mm. So I put this in my mouth. This little stick, it doesn't taste bad. It's a very light flavor. Uh, doesn't really taste like much of anything. Oh! I put the Guinness in my mouth. Oh! I dislike it incredibly. <laughs> There's very little I actually liked about the pairing of a cinnamon French toast stick with Guinness. It does not work. It makes it makes my face angry. It's like so Guinness, here's here's the thing. Here's I got the thing. Goosebumps right now. Literally look at this. Hold off. Hold up. Here's the thing. I got goosebumps. Guinness has a coffee flavor. It has kind of a coffee chocolatey flavor yeah. you get used to. You think of a coffee flavor with breakfast. kind of a breakfast. Yeah. So you think this is going to work great with another breakfasty food. Maybe it's the cinnamon mixed with the coffee. I don't know, but I've heard you put some cinnamon in some coffee, it so that would work. It stays with you. But I can't get rid of it, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Wow. Guinness, I like. The French toast stick is okay. The combination of the two, horrible. Don't try it. It's very, very bad All for right, you. So I'm going to say this. Oh, French toast stick definitely got some potential as like a hangover breakfast. <sighs> no, 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 it's not greasy enough. A hangover breakfast is like an Irish breakfast. No, you dude. need some sausage, you need some meat, dude, you want some bacon, I, I'm you want the one some, that, I'm the one that pulls those apart. My hands are greasy. It is greasy. All right. Here's the thing. Maybe it is. Here's the thing. Maybe it's not. All I'm saying is... It didn't go so great with Guinness. It didn't go so <laughs> it great. It didn't go so great. But what really didn't it go... It tastes like a donkey's butt with Guinness. Peanut butter with this, with Guinness, was maybe the worst thing, the most vile taste. I want you to try it. I want you to try it. It's the most vile thing I've ever done. Just, just do a little just, bit. This is really not just cool, Just do a little man. bit. Just do this a little bit. This is really bit. not just cool. Just a little bit. All right. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I'm not trying out one of the no, stupid sticks. No, no, do sticks. the whole stick. Do the whole stick. Come on now. Shit. Come on. I mean, shoot. Too hard. Oh, come on. That's just a little dab. Come on. Really do it up. Don't be afraid. Do it I up. I got the flavor. Come on. No, come on now. Get a little more in there. Come okay, on, okay, 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 okay. Still a little bit. I had a hole. You guys saw mine. Mine was covered with it. Now, put some Yeah, but that's Chris's way. It just covers it with everything. Put, your, put some Guinness in your mouth now. Oh, I don't really like the flavor of those two together already. <laughs> 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 no, 
way. That's the worst thing ever, right? So let's say, let's say you have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Don't get a Guinness to go no. with it for lunch. It's not gonna work. No. You need to you need to just treat yourself right and get yourself any other beer on the planet. Yes. There's something about Guinness and peanut butter. I wonder if like the creators of Guinness and the creators of peanut butter back in the 1700s oh God, were like it gets worse. mortal enemies. It's it gets with you. Oh my I God, know, dude! I know. Oh my God. I know. All right, maybe if I drink more Guinness. <laughs> no, it sticks with you. And I think it's because there's some sort of blood war that we're just now stumbling into accidentally from the 1700s. It's awful. Yeah, the Jiffy, this is, this the is Jiffy by folk are over here, and the Guinness folk are over here, and they're, they're at war. They're, yeah. they're enemies. They, back in the 1700s, they're like, they're like they, the vampires they versus the lichens, and they're going to make horrible movies about this for thousands of years. It just never goes away. The peanut butter, like, you know, in, the peanut butter sticks to your mouth, and so it's in different crevices. And honestly, and the Guinness, Guinness finds it. Guinness is thick, so it, does, it lingers anyway. Oh. I'm not thrilled right now. You know, but Guinness is a good beer. I'm starting to get right. out of <sighs> some Guinness. It's a good beer. I, I need to come back. I need to remember. Need to rate the Guinness. I need to remember the fond old days, the good times that I've Before had. Before we Guinness. put that in our mouth. Okay, this is out. This French toast stick thing. Don't do that. Is is Don't a way. Don't do it. It's a way. Don't uh, do it. Guinness, however, now here's here's something I want to. Or if you do, let us know how. Uh, I'm going to touch on. It's awful. I'm starting to understand something. Okay. Before the show, I was doing a little independent investigative research. I wanted to see what the internets thought of Guinness. Oh. So of course I look at Beer Advocate. Beeradvocate.com, sure. respect that, that website greatly. It, it contains pretty much every beer on the planet rated by tons it's of people. It's a beer resource. It's a beer it's resource. A I love Beer Advocate. Went on there, looked at Guinness. They gave Guinness an overall C minus oh, grade. Nice. I was like, what? No, Are you crazy? No. And then see, that's I low. realized in the last few minutes, they tried it with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Well, no, they would have given it a D at best. I think they probably maybe tried it with... It could be. Though, to be fair, we've tried some horrible beers that have gotten like A pluses on Beer Advocate. So, who knows what those boys are thinking. We don't ever really seem to line up because I don't think... I think this is... This is a... Uh, this... Now, okay, now I'm thinking <sighs> as a brand new beer, not from years of drinking it. I'm yeah, gonna not, say, not in a nostalgic way because this, is, this yeah, has a lot harder. of nostalgia for me. I'm going to be honest. Okay, so uh, for those of you who have been longtime watchers, you know I have a soft spot in my heart for a Coors. I know it's not a good beer, but I love it so much because of its American roots and its movie references that I just love it. Now, Guinness is much the same way for me. I like a good Irish pub, and you go to an Irish pub, and of course you want to get a Guinness because you want to sip on it, yeah. you love it, and you have good times, great oldies. It's fantastic. I'm so, going to say B+, plus, maybe A-. minus. I'm going A- minus on this um, because there are better stouts in the world. There are richer stouts in the world, and honestly, but they most, don't all have the thing in the can that goes. A lot of them do now, but um, yeah, the the, the, the nitro hole. tablet yeah. thing. Yeah, my big thing that detracts from Guinness that makes it an A minus instead of an A is that it's only a 4.2 ABV, and it's a sipping beer. So this is not a beer that you're gonna get totally plastered on. Yeah. You'd have to drink a so lot. much of this a lot. and you would be so full. I would gain like eight pounds drinking enough Guinness yeah. to get me drunk. Yeah, that would be... I don't say what they... Uh, uh, which they honestly sounds kind of worth it anyway, but it's not something my doctor wow. would approve of. There's 9.9 9 .9 carbs in one can. Is that no. a lot? No, there's there's more than that because it's, it's only... Huh. Uh-oh, Chris has got to do math. 125 calories in every 12 fluid ounces. Is that a lot? 14.9. Yeah. That's a good amount. If it's 125 for 12 ounces and this is a 14.9, it's basically 15 All ounces. I know is 4.2 ABV, not enough. All right, so. I would say B plus, B plus, A minus. A minus. A minus, um, good beer. Uh, French toast, toaster sticks from Ego. Um, okay on itself, never had peanut butter. Uh, just not good. Maybe syrup. Uh, the two do not go with these beers. Honestly, I don't know if any beers would work with those. I just don't, don't eat that stuff. Drink yourself a Guinness and move on. Drink yourself. And happy birthday, Guinness, almost. I believe it's in December is the birthday, December, Jeremy. December, was it? Something 20, like that. 21st. 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 31st. 31st? 31st. December 1st. De Decem December 11th is Guinness's 250th birthday. 250 years old. Happy birthday to the Guinness. All right, everybody. Well, that wraps up this episode of Beer is Tasty. If you'd like to give us feedback, head over to jupitercolony.com. That is a forum on the internet. Next episode, we're going to do another bachelor-themed breakfast episode where we pair we are with a beer. And the beer in that episode was brought to you by a listener or viewer just like you who went over to jupiterbroadcasting.com on the right-hand side of the page, clicked donate, and said, guys, I'm donating you 10 bucks. Go out and find this beer. And we did just that. But that's, what, what kind of beer is it? That's next. It's the uh, Michelob one. that. Uh, oh, right, right, right. That, Sneaky. The, ones, the one that's spe specifically for October. Hint. Winky. So that is next week's episode. We come out every Thursday when we make the shows. 
<laughs> but if you'd like to recommend a beer, you can do that over. We don't take beer in the mail just yet, but you can always send in a little bit of beer money. You can. And with your recommendation, we'll go out and find it. All right, I think that wraps up this episode of Beer Tasty. Until next week, cheers. Oh!